Welcome to the tutorial for Avao Core Engine software. First of all, we will show you the ACE graphical interface, which is, a, which is comprised of four parts, which we will now present. The first part is the high resolution imaging camera. This can be seen on the tab uh, to the far right. Here, you can zoom in on a region of interest in your image, like so. And you can also change the parameters of your image, for instance, the exposure time or the gain. Next, we will present you the wavefront sensor. The wavefront sensor can be controlled from the second tab in the interface. Here we can see a detailed display of the wavefront where we can verify that the, the wavefront is flash by either looking at the spots are verifying that our slope matrix is, our, is zero. Next, we uh, will look at the, the control of the deformable mirror, which is controlled by the first tab in the graphical interface. Here, we can change the mirror shape, actuator by actuator, by selecting uh, the desired stroke and clicking on the actuators uh, which correspond to the actuators in the mirror. Here we click on the actuators uh, we want to change and then we apply the pattern. Once we apply the pattern, we should be able to see this in the second tab on our wavefront sensor and we should also be able to see the change on our imaging camera. In the status tab of a deformable mirror menu, we can verify the commands that have been sent to our deformable mirror. To reset the deformable mirror, we click uh, clear pattern and on the wavefront sensor we can verify that the mirror is now flat. We can also change the shape of the deformable mirror by applying a, a Zernike mode such as astigmatism. In the final part we combine the first three elements to work in a closed loop. Before using the loop we need to calibrate our deformable mirror. This is performed by measuring the influence matrix of the mirror. Next, we choose the number of modes which we wish to use for our command matrix. And then we click here to calculate our command matrix. Here we launch the turbulent generator. And as a first perturbation, we introduce an astigmatism. To compensate for the perturbation, we close the loop. As we can see on the displays, the wavefront is flattened. The image resolution is improved as the mirror shape changes to compensate for the aberration. We can also introduce a random perturbation and on our mirror status monitor we can see the set of mirror commands used for compensation. Now we open the loop and reset the perturbation. Because the response time of the loop depends on the gain, increasing its value also corresponds to a decrease in stabilization time of the mirror. Now we apply the same example as before to compare the loop with the higher gain. As we can see on our loop monitor, the mirror performs the correction much faster. Finally, we, we reset everything before finishing. Thank you for watching.